This video is on ring topology. It is a type of network topology in which each device is connected to two other devices on either side, making a ring shape or circular data path. Ring can be unidirectional or bidirectional. Data is commonly transferred in one direction along the ring, known as the unidirectional ring. But in bidirectional ring, data can travel in either direction. There are two types, counter-rotating ring topology and collapsed ring topology. The counter-rotating ring topology is when additional ring is present in the opposite direction of the initial ring. If a network switch fails, the backup ring is activated, which allows data to continue to transmit in the network. Collapse ring topology, if a device fails, the ring will collapse and connect every other device to each other, eliminating the single point of failure and isolating it for easier maintenance. A ring architecture has a drawback that if one node fails to send data, the entire network suffers. Therefore, some of the ring topology sets up use dual ring structure to resolve this problem. In a dual ring structure, information is transmitted into clockwise and counterclockwise directions. There's a backup way of transmission in case one transmission fails. These systems are known as redundant ring structures. The advantages of this topology is that it does not require a central hub in order to function. Installation and troubleshooting with this type of network are very easy compared to other networks. Ring topology is most commonly used in sonnet fiber networks. It is also utilized in educational institutions due to its lower cost of operations. However, it is not efficient and is slow at times because all data in ring topology must pass through each workstation on the network. And also if one workstation goes down, the entire network is impacted. And lastly, it is more expensive compared to Ethernet cards, hubs, or switches because in this network, the hardware is required to connect each workstation to the network.